So first of all, let's discuss the installation of pandas. So installation of pandas. So if you already have the pip package as well as the Python installed on your system. So generally, uh, we prefer to do all the installations with either the pip installer package or the conda. So either it's pip install pandas or conda install pandas. So if you have Python and pip package already installed, then installation of pandas is very easy. So you just need to write the command pip install pandas. So install it using the command that is pip install pandas. So now I'll run it. So it says requirement already satisfied because I've already installed, but it may take some time in your system because you would be running it in the command line. Also, uh, the Anaconda package comes with the pre-installed pandas module. So if you're using Jupyter notebook and you have the whole Anaconda package, then you don't need to install it explicitly. It comes already installed with Anaconda package. So if this fails, in your command line and if you are using some other IDE, you can use a distribution like Anaconda, Spider, etc. that comes pre-installed with pandas. Now let's import the pandas module. So we just need to write import. So just simply write import pandas. So we have imported pandas successfully, but most of the time we import uh, our modules as an alias because we can't write a big word every time we are using some functions. So we just import with a shorter name or an alias. So import pandas as PD and PD is the alias here. Now let's check the version. So how to check what version are you using? You just simply need to write print pd dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore. So it says 1.4.2. I'm using notebook, so I don't need to write print explicitly, but if you're using some other IDE, then this will not work. You have to write print pd dots underscore underscore version underscore underscore as whole. If I just write pd dot version, it works here, but it won't work on any other IDE. It works for notebook environment only. Now we'll create a data frame. So data frame is a very important part of pandas module because this is mostly used in projects. So data frame, we'll discuss it in later in detail that what is a data frame and how it works, how to add rows or columns to a data frame, what is difference between data frame and a normal table. So right now I'm just creating a data frame. So let the name be my data set and I'm using a dictionary to create a data frame. So there are a lot of methods to create a data frame. You can pass lists, numpy arrays or dictionaries to create data frames. So I'm using a dictionary here. I have to give values as key value pairs. So my keys are cars and values and my values are BMW, Skoda as one list and one and two as another list. Now I'll just write print my data set. So 
So I'm going to print this dictionary first. And then I'm going to create a data frame. So my var or any data frame name is equal to PD dot data frame. Uh, please note that data frame is key sensitive. So first alphabet is capital. My caps lock has some problem. So it's PD dot data frame and pass the dictionary. So dictionary name is my data set and shift enter to run. So it's giving an error because I've not added a comma in the elements. So now it will work. So this is our dictionary and this is our data frame. So you can see the difference. So in today's lecture, I taught you how to get started with pandas.